sit comfortably and close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Take a long, deep breath and with the exhalation, free your mind of anything and everything that doesn't serve you. Take another deep breath and breathe out the worries of the present, the anxieties for the future, and find yourself here in this present moment. It is the beginning of autumn. The trees that were once green are now dressed in gold and scarlet. The first leaves have tumbled to the ground. There is a chill in the air. It is getting colder and darker by the day. The only thing that is warming your heart is the fact that it is time for your spiritual master, your guru, to come to your town for his yearly visit. Every year, your guru comes to give a week-long lecture series, and this year, he has asked you to be in charge of the arrangements. You're excited and overjoyed but nervous at the same time. It is going to take a lot of money, time, effort, planning, and organizing. When he first asked you, you had remained silent, doubtful. Doubtful of your own capabilities. But... You didn't want to run away from the challenge. You tried to see if you could recommend someone else for the job. But in your heart, you realize that your guru knows what's best. He is a true representative of God. You need to obey him with great joy and be grateful for the opportunity to serve. With that realization and a set of basic instructions from your guru, you agreed to take the responsibility. You went through great lengths to secure a venue. You want nothing but the best for your guru. He is working tirelessly and selflessly for the upliftment of humanity. This is the least you could do. Along with the other local devotees, you hold meetings late into the night to discuss publicity plans. Everyone is excited. You delegate responsibilities to everyone to help spread the word on Facebook, WhatsApp groups, emails, and phone calls, and flyer distribution. You have written the content for each. While writing the content for publicity, you try to think of how much you love your spiritual teacher how he has transformed your life and taught you to love God with every fiber of your being. And now, in your own tiny way, you have the opportunity to help him do the same for others. This thought is bringing a surge of inspiration in your heart. 
you have gathered an enthusiastic team of volunteers to go all over the community and meet people and distribute flyers. You're going to be representing your guru. You are his army, his elves, his humble servants. You have worked tirelessly to spread the word and you have relished the bliss of glorifying your guru. You are delighted by the response you are getting. A lot of people have registered. This seven-day program is a free program. Every day there will be yoga, spiritual discourse followed by lunch. You want to plan the menu. You know that your guru always strives for excellence and expects the same from you. Keeping this in mind, you plan the menu and all the other devotees volunteer to pitch in. The final week before the program, you go to the venue to decorate the hall. This is where your guru will be imparting divine wisdom. You're thinking, what will be most pleasing to my guru? You want to keep your will in his will. You select a beautiful asan and cover it with blue silk sheets. You hang a beautiful backdrop and place flowers. You check the sound system. Everything seems to be set. You feel you have done your best to obey your guru. You are ready. Your thoughts bring you back to the present moment. You look at the trees again. You think all the branches, the leaves, flowers and fruit are connected to the tree and their best interest is served in the service of the tree. You too want to always Stay connected to God and Guru. And just like the fallen leaves are at the mercy of the wind, you too want to be surrendered to the will of God. You're feeling humble. Your heart is full. You close your eyes and bring the image of God in front of you. You pray, God, I want to keep my desire in your desire. You're all merciful and kind. I want to be the recipient of your mercy. I am a tiny little part of you. I am your eternal servant. My guru is your representative. I will do my best to follow his instructions. I will do everything for his pleasure. Slowly, start bringing your mind to this present moment. Become aware of your body. Slowly, start moving your hands. 
Rub your palms together. Bring them to your face and feel the warmth. Gently rub your eyes and with a few blinks, open your eyes.